very clear that there's a lot of animosity that's been taking place, a lot of anger, a lot of anger, a lot of rage, um, love, and, and certainly a, a big sense of righteous indignation. You feel healing waves. And um, I just want to encourage us because. have this belief that we are you designed accept and love, to love yourself. That we weren't born hating. That we've learned to hate. You we learned to hate based on uh, every cell. the things that we might have just been taught in our own culture or our own upbringing. But through experiences of fear. That that, that hate is even uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. an extension of fear. Whispering. And One of the things that, that I think Stevie Wonder captured it really well when he said that hate knows love's the cure. You accept and love we, yourself. We think that we're fighting against people who hold a different set of beliefs. You are set free. You are spiritually. Um, people who the Holy Spirit. look differently than we do. Who uh, just have a different perspective than we do. That's not what we're fighting against. One of the things that you hear it say uh, that is articulated, I, I like how it's mentioned in, in the Bible, it says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Our, our battle is not with the people that we see. And the battle ultimately is uh, with the darkness, and not even the darkness in other people, but the shadow sides of our own selves. Uh, our own hidden latent fears love and uh, prejudices and uh, resentments God and loves you. Uh, battling with our own love internal God. demons, if you will. Uh, you feel fighting the one who hates with more hatred does not defeat the enemy because the enemy uh, is the hatred itself. You uh, accept uh, and love you yourself. Can't Beat hate with hate. Uh, love fighting hate with hate only means that hate wins. Uh, that will always be with you. Your son. You love We've got to learn how to love more deeply. The Holy Spirit. As, as an expression of whispers. Authenticity in your heart. And I'm not you saying this like it's an easy thing. Moving through every I don't believe that it is an easy thing. Difficult, but one of the things that I appreciate that Lord Jesus is it's easy to love somebody who's our spiritually independent. The challenge is loving in spite of, and I believe that He embodies it. And I'm not just you saying this as a love spiritual theoretical concept, but I'm saying it as a way. That I've learned to yeah, address my own sense of peace of mind. Uh, there have been some of the things that I've seen in, in the media uh, that I felt hurt by and angered by. You God loves you. But I heard something calling from deep within. Love God. That, that, that spark of God set free. dwells within. Calling me to focus on not the problem but on the solution. And the solution is to keep my eyes on the goal. What is the goal? Is the goal to you um, accept eliminate white supremacy, hatred, bigotry? Or is the goal really to? Uh, establish peace uh, to dwell in a world where, where people honor, respect, and love each other. To be an example, a living, breathing example of kindness, love, purity, integrity, and truth. Person who hates me and dwell in truth. You are said no. Does that mean that I accept 
the hatred. Feel healing no, waves it doesn't mean that at all. But it means that I recognize that the weapons of this warfare are not God. carnal, but mighty in God. God the turn down of strongholds, those who are filled with hate the bottle, they're in prison. God is always They're in dwelling there. in a state of defeat, which is where they're fighting with anger. Thank you all and God bless you. May peace be on.